Okay. Sweet. Oh, Matthew Clark. Hey, what's up, man? All right. Let's do some carving. Ah. Okay, I gotta change my battery. What's up, everybody? I figured I would try to do a live carve. I won't be able to see all the comments because I got the uh, good camera facing this way, but I'll check back in periodically. And uh, right now, I am working on a relief carving. So, in doing relief, uh, you can see here, Big Eagle is the focal point done in the uh, spiral golden or the golden spiral composition. Um, I'll uh, I'll be making a video about this and and do that and explain it in the video as I film this. So I just have to set up the GoPro right now for a time lapse. And uh, how's everybody doing? I don't even know if anybody's watching. <laughs> That's awesome. But whatever. This YouTube thing is kind of fun and uh, worth a try and see if anything uh, takes off. You know, it's fun. I'm loving this. Okay. Just in case this gets replayed, what's up everybody, my name's Brian Cook, and uh, if you like this video, give it a like, go ahead and subscribe to my page, and uh, here to help you guys learn and carve, and right now, relief carving is all about perspective, so if you see the numbers, I number these because that's the depth, and on my bars, uh, which is an Echo 2511, I have them marked with pens. They don't last very long once you start carving, but you kind of get that, uh, you get that kind of, once you get the depth for it, that's how you can, you can, uh, keep your depth. Duh, come on, sorry, I'm not used to doing live video and actually talking to nobody. So, for carving, I'm just going to carve, and hopefully you guys enjoy the process. It should go pretty fast. Um, my goal here is I got the phone charged, so I'm just going to let it run, and if people watch it, awesome. I'm going to block out this elk. This is uh, number one depth, and then uh, the bear is going to be tapering back. And when I'm doing these, I look for linear lines because the perspective, you want the eye to, you got to have like a spot, you know, say like this is the high spot, and then it all tapers and works with that or Right now, I know that this is a linear line because there's a change in direction of the trees and in the height. So I know that this is going to taper here to here and then change a direction. So this is kind of a spot, mountains, whole thing. And I'll check back with comments and uh, I'll try to get back to you guys with them. Burr! It's cold. Woo! I'll try to get back to them. Get Back to the comments when I'm done. Okay. Do it. Great thing about this. Uh, Saw Valley Cup. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I know there's 29 people watching. So, these are Saw Valley Cups. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to give one away every single month. For the rest of my YouTube page. I'll ship them anywhere in the world. This is the first time I'm saying it. They're custom made. They change color with uh, water and stuff. So uh, yeah. Uh, I'll give one away at the end of this to whoever's watching. And we'll ship it to you guys. I've got an orange one in the truck. Ah, okay. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. This is lots of like scraping. When you're carving this style. Just scraping and just setting your depth. So right now I'm blocking. There'll be a lot of like, a lot of strategic cutting.
so. Ah, terrible service. There we go. There we go.
Everybody, got another gap. <laughs> hey, so there's people watching. What's up? Sick. Let me see. Let me see. Out of juice. Yep, pretty much. Spike. Reconnect. Wake up. There we go. That's one way to lose lose people. Yeah, the uh. The, uh, service here sucks. I knew it might do that, but whatever. Wake up. Ooh, she's a little tight. What is going on with this thing? It's been acting funky. I think the card is fun. going on, baby girl. Wake up. Wake up. I beat the stop so much that she's tired. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Almost. Gotta clean the carbs. Okay. On to bigger saws and then small.
Good.
it's working. My spelling is bad. It's okay, James. So is mine. That's an arm workout. Oh my gosh! Holy nice. 87 people! Woo Sweet! Oh, that's cool. 93! What's up, everybody? Shit! Yeah! I like that! So, uh, take a second. My arms are on fire. So, what I'm doing right now is just creating the different depths because when you're doing a relief carving, your levels are going to be the most important things. Your linear lines and your levels. So right now I'm pushing back to the sky. I shouldn't be detailing right now, but I just kind of having fun doing it. And that's the great thing about carving is having fun and doing it. And, uh, and I think like the wind blowing kind of across the mountain is going to be cool. And like that's why I left this ridge here a little bit. Like the wind is like blowing off of it. And, and I'm going to start sucking back this eagle because look at like this is only a half an inch thick this probably is going to come back even more too and uh the reason being is i need this beak because it's number one i number everything when you're numbering relief carvings it's like in dremel carving if you just use dremels and you're doing like faces you know your nose is number one your eyes number two your ears are number three or you could go as far as to be like one two three four to the temple, five to the beginning of your six, seven, eight, you know, like, depending on how technical you want to get, but so I know where I'm set, you know, that's what I'm kind of doing. I, I'm recessing it back as I go. I see the, the big cut here means the, the mountain needs to be below that. The wings need to come back. I need to scoop away all this shit. I just, just was just having fun. Too bad about my little saw, though. I don't know what's going on with her. I think she's got a plugged up carb. I used somebody else's gas, so it's kind of like... Sometimes when you start it like that, it will, uh, it will go. And then also, I think, maybe the muffler is plugged. Mm, that's a possibility. Because that is pretty burnt up down there. Let's see. Put some gas in here. I think I used bad gas. I, I was doing uh, the TV show Virgin River, I think it's called, last week. And, uh, yeah, this button isn't really feeding fuel to it. So something's going on. I have to get this fixed. Oh, there we go. a car, plugged carb or something, so without messing around, 
Let me just get some gas. I gotta switch out to get a smaller saw, actually. Um, okay. So, I'll grab these two. This is a uh, 361. This is Dima. And uh, this is McConnell. I named them. This is on quarter micro chain. So it's super, super aggressive. Um, I don't often use it. This is a 12 inch cannon bar. This is a 11 or 8 inch cannon bar. Uh, so I'll throw these on, fill them up, gas them up. And uh, these saws are so awesome. They will start right up. I think my other one just has bad gas. Ugh. Yeah, you're live. Okay, cool. Sorry, my, uh, my wife called. Um, but I told her I'd be on Facebook. So, give me a sec, gang. We'll be back carving in a second. So, yeah. Ugh. There we go. Gas. Gas. So I'm using three 361s. One's on quarter pitch chain. One is on, uh, oh, two are on 043. Both can all cannon bars. I'm using, uh, uh, vegetable oil for them because why not? It's cheap. It works good. And it doesn't stain the wood. So the wood is cedar. It's laminated together. It's a t uh, six inches thick. 12, 12, and 12, 3 by 4. And uh, my goal today is to stream as long as I can and then carve as much as my arms can handle it. Because now that my baby saw is not working, that freaking sucks. So I love this saw. So 86, I used to run my... Moto X on veg oil. Would love to send you some go on pine. Uh, I don't really use pine. I'm not sure what con conversations are going on, actually. So hopefully Spike monitoring everything, making sure everybody's on the up and up. <laughs> okay. Oh, forearms are burning like crazy. 98 viewers. That is wicked. Okay, let's... uh. Let's keep plugging away. I'm going to switch to uh, the smaller bar. So, as you can tell, like, forearm issues are a real thing. People think I'm crazy because I put this stuff on. This is foam with uh, tape. I don't like the, uh, the handle thing. So, let's see. This saw hasn't started in, like, a year. Let's see if it fires up. Wake up, sweetie pie. You haven't been awake for a while. You ever get like a tickle on your nose that's just like crazy? Oh my gosh. Okay, since there's 100 people here today and every single month for the rest of my YouTubing, paging, whatever I'm doing right now, I will be giving away one of these and sending them all over the world. I know it's not much, but it's a lot cheaper than a carving. We, do, we will be doing chainsaw carving giveaways all, you know, when I can, and, uh, but these are cool. They're made. They're very limited, and... Uh, so everybody who's watching today has a chance to win it. I'm going to go through the comments later, and I'll ship it out to you guys. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. 106. Woo! Wicked. This is red. Are they sale? Are they safe for whiskey? Oh, yeah. Very safe. Uh, they will, uh, they're very good plastic and will last a long time. And who knows? Is that what's in here right now? <laughs> nah, just kidding. Ah, water for carving. Hey, so we're not here to listen to me jammer on. 
This is why I always break my iPad. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
into a technical spot. Now, for those of you who are carvers and want to learn something, uh, I'll try and teach you. So, I number everything because of the depth, right? I said that already. Now, it's going to come into play. So, I know number one is the furthest, and I'm mentally, I'm struggling at getting this right. Now, about carving relief, it's all about planes and it's all about how you set your depth and how you join the planes together. Now, the beak's got to be number one, which I know then the head is going to be number two because the eyes are back, your beak's out here. So I need to make sure that I am factoring that in as I'm recessing it back. Now, it's not perfect because really what you're doing is creating an optical illusion. It's just like ice. And in my head right now, I'm kind of like, Okay, I know what I 
I like to do when I'm carving. I might even bust out the tools here in a second, um, just because I don't want to mess this up. But when I'm blocking, I know it's just like straight back, straight back, and then you got your beak. <coughs> oh, that was yucky. Sawdust and in my face. Okay, so that's kind of what I wanted to say. Just think about that when you're doing these style of carving. It's just like doing faces, man. I know a lot of you guys are, you know, really stoked on uh, stuff Jordy does and Jordy Johnson, who's one of my buddies. He does a lot of faces and stuff like that. This is the same concept, except it like, you know, this is just a, a eagle and a, a relief. But there's so many different levels to this piece. Um, that, yeah, you got to think about that stuff. Okay, where's my straw hole? Here it is. That's what I love about these power caps. Okay. Yeah, you see, there's the neck connecting. And if I'm looking at the picture, I'm seeing what I got to do. I mean, you think of what's first. Right? So, beak is going to be one, claws are going to be two, head three, chest needs to come back, this needs to come back. That's why this looks weird right now, is because this is further back than this. So I need to take this back to here. I like this, but this is further out. So that's why it looks off. So you got to constantly be thinking, evaluating, and kind of planning your next move. So right now we're gonna scratch away at it and uh, I keep keep and shape this head up. It'd be sick if like while I'm doing this with you guys, like, we got this bird like done. That'd be rad. I'll, I'll do my best and <laughs> that's all I can do.
one thing is I'm thinking. Didn't turn it off. Okay, cool. When you're doing these type of carvings, you want to make sure that you don't do undercuts, like behind here. Because visually, it's only looking at this. And if you start making, like, commitment cuts that are going to that are going to change, that won't allow you to go further without having to fill it, that's something you've got to really watch out. That's why I'm not, like, committing. I'm only going straight in. Straight in and trying to find exactly what I'm trying to get. Like, I'm not there yet. I'm just kind of playing with this nose, just starting to get the shape out. And then I can still push it back. I mean, I can get the Makita finger sander and, and really kind of push that thing out. But that's something when you're doing this style, you've got to really think of and make sure you try not to do. Ah, okay. This is a, this is a grind. Hey, someone sent me five bucks. Ah, Jordy, stop doing that, man. You're too nice. It's so awesome. Now I owe you five bucks, you, you rascal. Well, hopefully that's my truck getting fixed. Oh, okay, back at her. Pitter patter. Good at her. Oh, this is the uh, JSP. I think it's JSP. JSP Power Cap. Everybody, every a lot of people have been asking me about it. I haven't got a code for them yet, um, but I'm going to try. Thanks to Jordy, I'm going to start doing affiliate program stuff. Uh, never done that before, but I'm going to do it with ISO tunes, which are these headphones. I love these headphones. They work really good. You do have to have two pairs, though, because if you're carving long days, you know, unless you constantly take them out, charge them, good to have two. So, shaping in this bird, you can see it's starting to come, right? So this is bugging me because this needs to be behind this bird. When you're creating these depths, that's why I like to start at the back. Like, I'm trying to do this and remember how to do it because <laughs> it's just so freaking long. But go back. I got to go back further with this or... It's just, it can be this much when you're doing relief. Like, you could do a relief in, like, an inch. It's just about your depth. I'm trying to set bigger depths because I want this to be dramatic. But in doing that, I got to go back as far as I can. So this is behind the bird 100%, which means I need to step back up and start cutting back again from the top. Okay. Ow! Bonk my knee. Almost got it, just from that one cut. But there's still a little gap here. So, I'll just paper this in. What's this? You just gotta remember not to cut the bread.
Ah. Hey. Yeah, sick. So, that's like a full-on depth set now, right? This comes back, it's flush. There's a little touch-up here with the saw, but that's nothing. I can fix that easy. And the cool thing... Now, what I forget is that I actually love carving this style. Because um, I never do it. But, you want to leave thick enough to the top so whenever the clients... This is actually going to Florida, which is cool. I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia. So it's going all the way to Florida. Um, what's cool about this is once you have your forever line with the sky, you can play with like this. Like this is just different depths from the saw, but visually it looks rad, you know, because it's got that up. And you got to also think when this is on a wall, people aren't going to be looking like this down at it. You're going to be looking up at it. So... Always think about that when you're carving. And, uh, and, and, like, this is rad. It just looks like cascading mountains. And I'm going to play with, like, the depths and, and make it like it's the wind and the clouds. And then burn it and sand it and, like, oh, oh, sick. <laughs> oh, shit, is anybody even watching? <laughs> That saw is heavy. Ow. Lost y'all. Whoopsie. Blah 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 blah. Things in the air stuff on WWC. Sorry about that, guys. I lost y'all.
It's just terrible service here. Hey, happy birthday, somebody. Woo! Yay. Alrighty. Okay. For all my Dremel enthusiasts, yoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, you'll love it. You'll love the Dremels. I love Dremels too, actually. They're awesome, but I like to do a lot of my stuff with the saws at first. So, I'm going to use the Makita finger sander, and I'm going to try and size out this head. You know. Ugh. Oh, I need a drink of water. So I probably lost most of you guys. Sorry, man. Service sucks here. But you can see now, like, it's starting to take shape of the head. Now, once I get this beat kind of like I'm happy with it, then that'll be my main part. It is so complicated to do this crap. Uh, well, maybe it's not. I don't know. I find it to be. Let's see. Am I still connected? Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, let's get a little closer. So we got everybody there. Yeah, yeah, you should, James. Be cool to see your carvings, dude. Yeah, James, you should, dude. Whatever Spike said. I like Spike. I like Spike. Okay. Here we go. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go. Finger sander. So, Makita finger sander, 36 grit. And, uh. If you're a Dremel carver, this is a great thing, too. I mean, they last forever. Uh, for all you Dremel carvers out there, this thing is awesome next step into something small, quiet, and very effective. I'll, I'll pretty much do this whole piece with this thing, like... To do the, the wind, do the mountain changing positions, the feather pattern. You can do it all with this thing. Okay. I'm so nervous. I got like one shot at this thing. <laughs> Okay, I'll bring you guys in closer, because I'm going to be on the eagle for a bit. Okay. <sighs> Thanks, Mike. So I'm, I'm trying to create lines. I hope you guys can hear me. I know that the head is here. And then the beat's going to go like this. So just remember too, when you're doing this type of carving, you're setting your depth. Now I'm thinking like one to one and a half. So the beak's the furthest, then the first part of the cartilage where it starts connecting to the skull is going to be part two, eyes three, 
back of the head four, and, and I got to start pushing back, but keeping this because that drop in the beak is the, the, the furthest part out in this whole piece. So you got to be super careful not to mess it up. And then also, do the same thing on the other side. You want it to be exactly symmetrical and balanced. That's what's so important. And then, you can start to separate everything else. So... This needs to go like this. But yeah, when you got this, you get it to this point, and now I'm able to kind of start thinking, okay, I got to drop in the, the, separate the head to the neck. Get the Dremel. Let's start doing a little shapey shape. Yeah, you can see the shadows also tell you what, uh, what's happening. Uh, it happens all the time. It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> push that back even further now that I'm looking at it I want to create as much punch as I can with the face so uh, you are awesome of your outstanding carvings thank you very much okay so let's uh let's try I don't know now that I know that the head's close, I kind of want to get back to the saw because really, really I'm just doing this for you guys. I well, I don't call any of my carvings in the shed. I've posted some work and love the community and they love it. Awesome. I don't know what community, but cool. Cool.
you guys pushing that back a little bit, how much it just punched out that beat. So everything has to go back. You just have to be careful when you're doing that not to overcommit. Because if you overcommit, then you could get into some serious trouble. Because this is one shot deal. There we go. So, there's the beat, son of the beat. And this angle is not right. That's right. So that angle, it needs to be like there. I think I'm going to get back to Chainsaw. <sighs> Tasmania, 5,000 people know it's funny as a woman. Cool. Okay. Oh, I Get back to Chainsaw. Cause I'm sick of it. Yeah, so that's kind of how you rough in, uh, rough in the, uh, whatever it's called. Here, I'll see if anybody's talking and. Oh, oh my goodness. 
let's see, uh, is, okay, so, oh, she's 86 minutes. I guess you get a lot done in 86 minutes, because 86 minutes, that's a long stream. Oh, my gosh. Ah, okay. Crazy. Coming to life. Thanks, Spike. Yeah, man, it's just about setting the depth, you know? Like, right away, you got to kind of figure out that. Like, same with this bear, you know? Like, the bear is going to be super tricky, because it's going to be, like, millimeters. And... The eagle got the head shaped in. Once I spend like an hour or two on this thing, that will pop. And then I just have to balance out the wings. And then, I mean, this is going to take a long time. This is a great budget piece, though, right? Like, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty pricey. So it's awesome to be able to do something that's really fun. So... I just have to start setting lines, right? So, you know, one thing I'm talking about is when you're going over top of something or under something, you got to think about that. Like, for this instance, the sky, furthest part back. That's going to be your widest part. This is going to be number two. First, number one, and then... The wings, I would say, number one, and then they taper in. They've got that, like, flowing feel. Same with this, because you want that to pop. This needs to be set back. So everything needs to come back on, a, on an angle. But then when you've got the creek, you've got to think about, are the rocks over top of it, or are they in front of it? And visually, when you're looking at it, the rocks are going to be behind it. So they have to be over top, which means there has to be an undercut uh, on, like the river here has to be kind of tucking into a rock that is further behind it. Oh, fuck, this is hard to explain. The rock needs to be here. The river needs to be here. But the depth, this needs to look a little, a little bit further behind. Yet you want to do an undercut to create a separation line. I think that makes sense. I've never really done a live stream before, guys, so on YouTube, so, you know, bear with me, alright, chainsaw time, let's do it, I'll use this saw, so this is a 12 inch Canon, 043 gauge, 361, and, uh, hasn't started in a very long time, I don't even remember the last time I started this saw, because, I use my uh, 2511 all the time. This little baby's not working. Good tip for any of you guys using chainsaws or starting using chainsaws. When you first start one of these saws, an Echo especially, they start a little slow. So I start it. Just pull out the uh, cl uh, choke a little bit. Yes, just just gives it a little more oxygen, pumps it in a little, and uh, works. See, I'm gonna do it again. Like that. Oh no, broken string! <laughs> What's going on today? Holy shit! Oh five oh. Same saw. <laughs> That's why I have many saws.
I just keep thinking, Spike, send me your email or your address, and uh, you won the cup, man. You're running this moderation. I keep checking, and you're commenting a ton. So I, uh, I got a cup for you, dude. Thanks for, uh, thanks for all the great comments. I, I just am thinking as I'm carving. So uh, congratulations, bro. Shoot me a message on Facebook, and I'll get it into the mail to you. And then I'll have another one. I'm going to probably live stream this maybe tomorrow if I can, uh, if I get everything blocked out. I mean, I'm already doing feathers, which is kind of crazy. I think I'm over anxious. And to be honest, I think I want to show you guys, like, you know, some cool stuff where normally I wouldn't do this kind of detail already. But you know what? I'm pretty confident that this is as deep as I'm going. And, uh... And if it's already there and committed to this, then fucking sweet, man. Ugh, so. Whew, this is hard on the wrists. I'm going to sleep good tonight. But I'll do another one of these giveaways cool, really quick, but I just thought it was kind of in my head, you know, seeing all those comments. Sorry if it pisses anybody off, but you know what? I appreciate it. I appreciate people that follow me, and I, I, you know, I love all you guys, especially, uh, you know, Spike's been one of the first, and congratulations, pal. Shoot me a message on Saw Valley, uh, Ryan Cook on Facebook, and I'll, uh, do it. Yeah, look at this shit. It's coming together. Gotta get some gas. I wish my baby saw was working. Ah! Not good, man. Not good. What is happening with her? So, yeah, we'll do a little bit more. I don't know. It's like, for me, if I can help anybody and you guys are enjoying watching, like, what's the point in stopping? Um... <sighs> okay. So, oh, that looks rad. Oh. Yeah, that looks cool. You step back from... Oh, let me see if I don't mess this up. So here's the profile, right? You can see it's starting to pop. That's, uh, that's what we're going for. You know? It's that... You you do you do depths where you're close, but then really when you look at it, it's totally off in the perspective. But when you come from the front, that's what you're trying to do. You are trying to trick the eye. Okay, Shane, have a great sleep. Oh wait, all good day. I'm off to bed. Sweet. Yeah. So. It's all about playing with lights and shadows. Like, that is... I can see just on camera, I'm getting stoked on it. Because it's now... You're, you're separating all of the pieces of the puzzle. And then it's starting to kind of come to life. So maybe, you know, like... I'm, I got the camera here so you guys can see it better. But, I mean, there is something to be said about being further back. Oh, got a... Not, uh, how do you decide your proportions? Uh, to decide on proportions, I use my iPad, and I take this exact image. Look at it. You see? I have a pro program that I'm not comfortable in telling you guys right now. But I will be doing less. We are just finalizing a few things. And I have and, uh, my new TV show, which since it's only us here, I, I got the sizzle for it, which is, is the teaser. And we're going to like start shopping it to Netflix and, uh, and different networks. I don't know if it'll sell. You know, I don't want to jinx myself. It's going to sell. I'm going to secret that. It's going to sell. So, oh, I got the, 
the the real commercial. I hired a guy to do it, and and he did a crazy job. It's so so sick. Um, I'm super proud of it. So it, it's not. It'll run through it. Ugh. What is happening? Nope, it is not gonna go. Oh, I don't wanna take this thing apart! I guess the service sucks. Bye, Gypsy. Bye, Gypsy. Cool. Okay. That's enough of the bird for the day. Let's play with the elk or like the lines of the the other stuff. What time is it? Ah, oh, it's two o'clock. Almost time to go home. Okay.
Okay. Well, I think that's about it. I gotta call my wife. But I'll do this again tomorrow. Sure. See how much data it took. And if anybody... Well, there's been lots of people watching, so that's cool. Uh, thank you for watching. Spike, uh, shoot me a message on Facebook. I'll send you one of these in the mail. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll get the elk punched in, get the elk shaped out, get the bear roughed in, get, the, get this over to the side, and really start uh, shaping it up. It's really coming down out there, so... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and if anybody's not subscribed, please subscribe to my page and give this a like, and, uh, yeah, man, thanks for watching. Peace out. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was cool. Come on, Ryan. You part-timer. Carry on. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, what time is it? 2.47. I guess I could. I'll drink beer every day from it, dude. Yeah, you're welcome. It's awesome. Oh, okay. Here we go. I guess I can finish off a tank. Finish off a tank. Okay. Yeah, that looks sick. It's coming together step back funny when you're looking at a piece and you just like get caught up in it you don't see it but it's all about playing with light and shadow it's just like ice carving too pretty rad oh my gopro still going eight minute time lapse in the same shot that's gonna be a fun video to watch for everybody on youtube <laughs> oh shit i gotta put that down there we go I'll just pull it back. There. There, there, there. Plug this in. Well. Oh. Yeah, you might as well, James. Nothing else to do. Make some de narrow. Okay, what do I gotta work on? Fucking good day. Man, going on YouTube and streaming actually makes me carve without stopping. <laughs> Normally I step back and mess around and... Hmm. Okay. Can't believe this little saw died though. Ugh. I don't want to have to take it apart. It's going to suck. But you know what? That saw has been used every single day for a year without nothing, no repair. That new uh, 2511 coming out is going to be sick. Be out in the spring, but for you guys in the UK, it's already out. Okay, we have took a lot of weight off this piece already. You can tell. Nice. I mean, this was a full slab, six inches now. It's way down. All right. Pitter-patter, let's get at her. One last push.
I guess we're still going.
I gotta get home. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, it's still connected. It is. So, uh, yeah, here's a look at the pro program. Maybe not. Maybe that's it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so. That's pretty, pretty powerful. I'm stoked on how, how this is turning out. Yeah, tomorrow, I'll, I'll, I'll stream tomorrow. Why not? Yeah, it's cool. And then, you, you know, like, what's rad is that's how thick it is. It's all about tricking the eye. <laughs> and shadows and playing with... See you later. Thank you for watching, everybody. It was awesome. Lots of people today, and anyone who stuck it out, you! Yeah! All right. Later. How do I end this? <laughs> Are you sure you want to stop? End. Yes. Later, guys. Oh, what? Attraction? Oh, sorry. I can't wait. Let me see. Ryan, I missed the show, but I always impressed with you, dude. Thank you. Ryan, what are you doing Brilliant winner, winner, chicken dinner. Cool. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's wrap it up. We're doing detailing. Dremel for those who love Dremel.